Hey guys, Chrome Tutorial here. Welcome to episode 6 of the RuneScape Resource Dungeon ROM, where we're going to go through each and every resource dungeon in RuneScape 3 and let you know what's inside. Spoilers ahead, of course. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and let's get moving. Alright, so you may wonder why I'm in front of Ned asking him about buying a rope. So, the next... Yes, yes, yes. You make rope from wool... Just, he's basically lying, but he's, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's basically, he's, he's lying. He doesn't make the rope himself. Yeah, that's a bit of a quest spoiler. But anyway, you do still need a rope. We're going to go to the backstory in Falls Resource Dungeon. Uh, you're going to need 35 Dungeoneering to get there, as well as to complete the water, to have started the waterfall quest, because we have to get to the waterfall, waterfall. So one of the easiest ways to get there is to games and Echo's teleport to the Barbarian Outpost, just like you would have normally have done during the waterfall quest, and run south. And running to El by Almira's house, much the same. The only reason why these doors are open is because I opened these before. Full disclosure, I forgot. I didn't know if the rope could be tool belted. Spoiler alert, it cannot be tool belted. So you're going to actually have to bring a rope with you if you want to get here. We put a rope on this rock. Do not swim to the rock. You will be rethinking your life choices at that point. Well, you won't die or anything, but it's just a pain in the neck to have to walk back. And we're going to put a rope onto this dead tree, swing us down to where we need to go, and we're going to go in here. And we're going to try to go in there. But, as I remembered, we're probably going to need Galerial's Pebble or Galerial's Amulet to get through there. So, yeah. You need Galerial's Amulet. So, yep. We're going to have to run back. I totally forgot about that. I guess I was used to the old school version where you don't need the amulet to get in there. You just need a rope. But of course, old school didn't have the quest after that that requires you to do a little bit more for Glarial. Unless it's the elvish one and I haven't done it yet, which of course I haven't, but anyway. I guess I'm going to figure it out way down the road, but for now, we've got to get Glarial's Amulet. Oh yeah, uh, funny thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I destroyed Glarial's Amulet, and I'm going to have to go back to May to pick it up. So we're going to have to go do that. Let's see. Ice Amulet, First Age Amulet, Camulet. Desert Amulet, Crocspeak, Amulet of Glory, Cramulet. Hmm. Huh. Okay. If I don't have Glarial's Amulet, we're going to have to uh, check it out here. Oh, okay. Oh. <sighs> what a pain in the neck. Okay, now I'm going to have to go get another one. 
which means I'm going to have to go to Morak anyway to get Glarial's Pebble to get another copy of Glarial's Amulet. Otherwise, it's going to happen the way it was supposed to, that it happened just now, where I get washed downstream regardless because I'm not allowed to enter. Okay, so we're going to go here. This is the storage chest. Glarial's Pebble should be in here. Yeah. Here we go. Here's Galerial's Pebble, and we're going to have to go west of the Fishing Guild, I believe. Galerial's Pebble, access to Galerial's Tomb Dungeon near the backstory in Falls. Southwest of the coal trucks. Okay. You can go to Sears Village to get there. I think that's where Rosolo is for Desert Treasure. Yeah, so this is going to end up being a bit longer than I anticipated. Okay, so no weapons or armor are allowed when you're in the Glarial's tomb, so I'm going to probably have to bank all this. I'll have to bank the rope. I don't know if this gives a combat bonus. It probably does. Okay, so here's the coal trucks mining site. It's over here. Here's the coal truck site. And here's the fishing guild. And up over here, oh, the manor farm. Okay. Should be easier to just teleport to Artie and run northwest. We'll get it eventually. Also, as we're moving along here, the backstory in Falls is not a free to play dungeon at all and you're going to get 3000 XP once you go in there for the first time which I may actually get the XP I'm not sure if I ever went in there because I don't remember it and this seems like really big big pain in the backside alright so here's Glarial's tomb so we have the pebble we can go in or we should be able to go in Do I need to dig? Oh, we gotta use it on it. There we go. All right, so we need to go over here. This moss giant's level 24, but if you're combat level, I think 48 or less, they'll attack. So we need to open this chest, search it, and here's Glarial's amulet. We can use the drop trick if we need to, but um, to get multiples, but I'm not going to do that. Alright, so we need to go to just anywhere with a bank at this point. I'm going to go back to Varak because I'm going to need to get the game snackles again to go back and rope. And I'm going to store, I'm going to store this again. I'm going to get this rope out of there. And the game's necklace. 
Okay, so can we put the pendant back in here? We can. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That was very silly. Okay, I did not realize. Oh, I didn't realize both the amulet and the pebble would be in here. So if you put it in the storage chest, you can simply drop it. All right. Now we're going to do it how it was supposed to be done. We're going to go to the barbarian outpost. Also, apparently you can build a rope rack to give you rope nearby the raft up here. I'm going to show you all where that is cuz I didn't know since I didn't know about that. I probably didn't build it unless I built it eons ago. But I guess we will see indeed. And the doors have closed. All right, so Here's the, oh, no, this is the rope rack. The ruined rope rack. Let's see what we would need. Um, a saw, a hammer, five coils of, coils of rope, three oak planks, and a, no nails. Huh. Okay, that's unlimited rope. That's actually pretty interesting. So we look here. You can see, whoops. This rope actually has, you know, some value. It may not be much. I mean, quests, as far as quests go, man, you need rope all the time. But I should probably build that rope rack at some point because it's free unlimited rope. I wouldn't have to keep bringing it. I wouldn't have to buy it either. Okay, so. So now as a side point, you all know how to get back Galerial's amulet if you need to. <laughs> but I didn't know that I didn't have to do that. Because after you've done the waterfall quest, you should have both the stone, the pebble, and the amulet. So you can get to have both. Okay. I'm going to do the same with the rope here. That. And now that we have Glarius amulet on us, we should be let inside. Whether you're wearing it or whether it's in your inventory, I don't think it matters. Okay, what we want to do here now is run past these shadow spiders and so on and so forth. And the resource dungeon is right here. It actually won't attack me, but if you're level, what's that, 92 or lower, they will. And I think they also drain your prayer if they do it the same way as they do in old school. Alright. So you're going to need level 35 Dungeoneering to get here, and you're going to get 3,000 XP the first time you go in. These guys are level 85, so they might actually try to beat me up. Yep. All right. You kind of run past them. All right. I did actually go in here, and there's nothing here but a bunch of fire giants. It's like that is the entire whole thing in this area, the entirety of it. Nothing but fire giants. There are 11 of them, the wiki says. And in all fairness, if you need the XP is the only reason why I would consider going here because there are a bunch of other fire giants just outside you don't need to have the dungeoneering level to access but this can be a nice area if you have them for a slayer task or something else but I don't know how crowded this would be alright after that little detour that'll be the end of this one be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content you know ring that bell twist that dial and let YouTube know that you'd like to see more of it if you'd like to Keep on going with your RuneScape journey and your life journey too. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. As soon as I get out of here, we're going to have to, uh-oh. We're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way and run. Yeah, because you can't teleport. You can't use lodestone teleports if you're in combat. Because that's they're interruptible. So we're going to have to kind of run over here. Wait till your character puts his arms down and kind of relaxes. There we go. And now we can teleport out. Anyway, catch you guys later. See ya.